Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Ken Leo, photographer for Rail and Roof. Today is Thursday, August 28th, 2014 AD. It is 9 19 in the AM. And I just came across this posting on Facebook that led me to a link at uh, Camera E E or E G. Camera E G G. Is that right? And apparently, the new camera, the EOS 7D Mark II, uh, this is from their side. This I can't verify this 100%, but this is what they're saying. The 7D Mark II will have a 24 megapixel sensor. So that's going to be an, uh, an upgrade from the 21.1 of the ES, uh, 1DS Mark III and the 5D Mark uh, Mark III, uh, 5D Mark III is a uh, 20, yeah, 21, I think. Anyway, point is 24 is going to be more. Um, well, let's see what we got here. So, according to these guys, the 7D Mark II will have a 24 megapixel sensor, sensor, uh, comes with a kit lens of 18 and 135. CF, UDMA, uh, CF card, uh, UDMA mode, 7 plus SD, so in other words, uh, looks like we have two uh, types of cards. GPS is in the camera, this is an improvement, this is what we want. GPS built into the camera, good move people. No Wi-Fi, that's, mm, that's not exactly what you want, but either way. Fixed LCD with no touch functions, which is, that's fine. It's no big deal. Um, I like the, personally, I like the fixed LCD as compared to the flip out. It just makes it, it makes the camera more sturdy. Um, I mean, I understand why some people like it. I understand why some people don't like it. So either way, I mean, you know, there's people, there's pros and cons to both sides, whether you like the fixed or non-fixed. Uh, no touch functions. Um, I'm sure eventually they'll have cameras that are, that are They'll get to a point where touch functions are standard, but right now that's just not the case. 22.20.2 megapixel APS C sensor. No, wait a minute, it just said 24. The top, so I don't know what's going on there. Well, some, somebody's got uh, mixed up. Either it's a 20.2 or a 24. So I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Eventually, obviously, dual pixel CMOS, dual digit six processors, which is improvement. Um, two digit six processors that will be even faster, I believe, than the one DX or one DC because they've got two dual digit fives, uh, I believe. So that'll be a, a speed increase. Uh, actually, the one DX and one DC have two digit fives and a digit four. So this thing having dual digit six should be, I mean, uh, faster than those two, I think. I mean, of course, they have three processors. This only has two, or two, but still, being the uh, dual digit six, I, I'm not sure exactly what the exact rate is, but um, when you compare two digit six to two digit five plus a digit four, but my point is, the digit six is an upgrade, so it's 65 autofocus points, that's not bad. F8 on the center points. 10 frames per second. That's one of the big features they're going to be selling. 10 frames per second. ISO 100 to 12,800. ISO boost to 25,600 and 51,200. 1080p or 720p, both at 60 frames per second. That's a good feature. Uh... The fact that you can get 60 frames with both is good. File size, file size is going to be a little bit larger because of it, but being able to get the 60 frames, that's what you want. Uh, servo autofocus for video shooting. Anti-flicker mode. Uh, flickering lights. Spot metering. Built-in flash. That's a very important uh, for a lot of us. I, um, it's, it's very handy to have the built-in flash. Um, even if it's not what you consider a pro feature, it is nice to have that built-in flash. Um, I mean, obviously, you, you can set it so it doesn't work or you don't, don't use it, but to have it's really nice built-in. Um, 
mic and headphone connection. That everybody's, everybody was grabbing about the uh, some of the professional cameras that didn't have mic and headphone sets or enough headphones. Um, can seek time between 72 cameras. Uh, lens, uh, lens, electronic, and manual focus. Well, we just assume that, but it's, um, about 100% coverage OVF. I'm not even sure what that means. New battery is the LP E6N. Uh, and that looks like that's about all there is to that. So, the main things that, are, that impressed me real quick, let me, let me go over them real quick. Um, GPS in the camera, that's a big plus. No Wi Fi, that's a negative. Fixed LCD, that's positive or negative, depending on what you think of LCDs. Now, here's, here's, here's the, the um, one that gets me. Here it says 20.2 APS sensor. And up here it says 24 megapixel. So which one is it? Um, I don't know. But considering that, I'm hoping that the, there's a typo on the 20.2 where it's supposed to be 24. Obviously you want more megapixels to be higher resolution. Uh, let's see, 10 frames per second. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, with today's technology, um, as far as stills, uh, the ISO range uh, of 100 to 12,800, uh, 12, obviously not as good as the 5D Mark III or the 1DX or 1DC, but compared to my, <laughs> considering I have a camera that only shoots up to 1600 and this shoots 12,800, <laughs> plus a boost of 25,600 and 51,200. Um, that would be, for me, that would be a great big boost. 1080p and 720p at 60 frames. That's awesome. I'm sure there's going to be lots of options on 720p, 24, 25. I mean, I would assume. And same thing with 1080p. Um, but you can go up, to, go up to 60 frames with both. So that's good. Uh, Built-in flash, I like that. Uh, well, let's see what else. Um... Let's see, a new battery. I'm not sure if it's 100% coverage OVF. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Now, I mean, there's one more thing. Let's see, the APS sensor. Um, oh, I know what it was. It was the. Where is it? Tell me. I was just looking at it. Um. Dual pixels, APS. Okay, here's another one I want to talk about. I know what it was. The 20.2 APS that she says, which means it's not a full frame sensor, which means there's a, it's cropped, which means there's, in other words, if you, if you use your 28 to 300, it's not going to be 2300, it's going to be like 56 or 70 to 370 or something. I don't know what the exact ratio is, but my point is it's going to be magnified. So uh, it's not full frame, which if you if you need to get images farther away, that's good. But if you need to get images close up, it's um, not as good. Um, again, it's, it's still um, depends on what lens you have. But still, it's you're not going to. For example, if you get a 50 millimeter lens and you want to shoot 50 millimeters. You're not going to be shooting 50. You're going to be shooting 50 at one point, uh, what, probably 1.4. So it's probably be about 60 or 65. So there's going to be a magnification factor there uh, of what the lens says it is to what it actually is because of the frame of the sensor type. It's not a full frame. So a 50 millimeter is not going to give you 50 millimeters. Uh, 100 millimeters is not going to give you 100 millimeters. It's going to be magnified. So keep that in mind. So with that in mind. I still want my next camera to be a full frame. Um, so again, whether it's a typo, uh, 7D Mark II, let's go back up there, hold on, will either be a 24 megapixel sensor or a 20.2. So we'll find out eventually. But until, that's all we have for now, though. So until next time, I'm Kenny Lewis from Rail and Roo. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless.
As always, keep taking those pictures. Goodbye.